So today I have a super, super cool card trick to show you. Um, it only involves one, two, three, and uh, four cards, and it's super, super simple. I'll show you guys. So the top card we take is the Jack of Diamonds, and all you have to do is leave that on the table. We take the next card down as well, which is also another Jack of Diamonds. And then what we'll do is show you guys the next two cards I have as well are also the Jack of Diamonds. Now what we're going to do is place these cards face to face. Okay, so what the pattern goes like is you tell your spectators that look, these two jacks actually want to have a little conversation and they're fed up with just being jacks. They want to turn themselves into something different, something more, right? So all you have to do is take your cards, flip them over, and just like this, guys, what you should be able to do is flick them around. What we can do is turn them into two aces and the other two jacks turn into aces as well. So it is a super, super cool card trick. Like I said, guys, I promise you, you're going to want to show this to everybody that you've ever known because it is such a super card trick and it looks really clean. And if you guys want to learn how to do that, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's what you guys are going to need. So go ahead and take um, all the four aces out. I'll show you guys in a second. Go ahead and take all the four aces out of your deck as well as um, two duplicate cards. So you can actually use jokers as well if you want to use those or you can just use two duplicates. Just make sure they are the same exact cards so jokers are pretty much the easiest, but I kind of wanted to do one with jacks. So uh, the way it works is these are all regular cards. You have three aces. These are all just straight from the deck. And then what you do is you take one of those duplicates and you go ahead and you double stick tape that to one of the aces. So it could be any ace, but in this case I just use the ace, uh, the ace of spades. And since these are just stuck together, just like that guys, back to back, ace to jack. And then once those are stuck together, all you have to do is actually put a piece of double stick tape right in the middle of that duplicate. So I don't know if you guys can see it, I was trying to get the light to shine on it, but there is a piece of double stick tape right in the middle of that. And just like that, you have the double back to back with an ace, as well as a jack with that double stick tape. So from here, once you guys have that set up, all you have to do is you take two aces, a jack, another ace, and the duplicate or the uh, the gimmick here. So it looks like this. This is going to be your setup for actually starting the trick. And then now uh, the way you start off is let's say we go to the back. It should look like this, with uh, you know your gimmick ace face up, and then these four cards um, face down. And in the third position, you're going to have one of those jacks, right? So what you do is you take the three cards, put those into a pinky break. So now you're holding the top three cards into a pinky break. And the first thing you do when you walk up to the spectator is go ahead and show them. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a trick. Uh, it only uses like one, two, three, four cards. You count off the cards above the break, and you make sure not to flash that bottom ace there. And all you do is when you count the cards off, you can put them back into a thumb break. And then from here, you do a series of triple lifts and double lifts. You do a triple lift. You show them, okay, so look. So the first card we're going to use is the Jack of Diamonds. You put that back onto the break. You push off just one card. They think that's a jack of diamonds, and then you do another double lift. And since you have that break, it's super easy to come back. Sorry, so the second card we have is another jack of diamonds. You can push that off, put that on the table. From here, you're left with these three cards, and all you have to do is just take the top card here. So this is a single card, and this is going to be that packet of doubles um, underneath right there. And all you have to do, you kind of have this in middle grip with your thumb and your middle finger, kind of you know encompassing the entire card. All you have to do is flip over both cards at the same time and say, look, so now we have two other uh, jacks here as well. So what we're going to do here is once you show them the jacks and you make sure not to flash any cards below this one because this is a little packet, all you do is tell the spectators that you want to have these two jacks or these two jacks want to have a little conversation. So we're going to stick them face to face. And since you have that stickiness or that sticky card in the bottom, when you stick these together, make sure they're flush. So you make sure they're flush right now, they're face to face. All you do is make sure to apply some pressure with your um, index finger underneath as well as your thumb on top. So these are kind of squeezing and it doesn't look like too much is going on here because the spectators aren't going to be looking at your index finger too much. All you have to do is make some misdirection, you know, talk about how the, uh, the jacks want to turn themselves into something better. You know, they're sick of being jacks. Whatever you want to say, just make sure you just apply that pressure. And then from here, the cards should stick with that double stick tape and you have a packet here. But what you do is you want to flip it over really quick because you don't want to just flash that ace of spades right away. So all you're going to do is flip over the packet. And then from here, you can do a pinky pull down. You're going to pull down that ace right here. And then you're going to do a wrist kill. So you can come over. The packet here is going to be on top. So the single card is going to be on the bottom. This packet's going to be on top. And all you do is you hold the packet here with your thumb and these two fingers in the back. All you do is pull away the bottom card without moving the top card. That way you conceal the ace. You move this ace away, 
you flick them together, and then from here you look completely clean because you can see all the backs of the cards. You flip over the faces, and as you guys can see, you can see all the aces just like that. And you can pick them up, mess around with them a little bit, and then you can show the backs of the cards, and the trick just looks super, super clean. So, hope you guys like the video. Make sure to try it out, and uh, let me know how it goes for you guys down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.